everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making the Happy Hues Sampler Baby Blanket. This baby blanket was so much fun to make. It's just got such an eclectic amount of stitches. I'll get into the supplies and then um, answer some frequently asked questions about the sizing and everything. And then we'll get into making this beautiful piece. So I have to say a huge thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. We are using Using five different colors you can use as many colors as you want in this project uh, but I'll go through the colors here we are using Red Heart Super Saver yarn this is a size 4 medium yarn um, so I would suggest either an Aran weight uh, this is worsted weight um, or even a double knitting size of yarn could work for this project and this yarn is 100% acrylic and the uh, five colors that I'm using today, this color is called charcoal as you can see here, this color is country blue, then we have white back there, this blue right here is called denim. And then this last one, whoopsie, <laughs> rolling away here, we've got Dusty Gray. So those are all the colors that we are using in this tutorial today, but like I said, you can use as many colors as you want, and uh, this is a great color combination. These are actually the colors of my baby's nursery. Uh, I just love these colors so much. And um, for the amount of yarn that I used, I used one ball of each of these colors, and I added an extra ball of the charcoal because the border is made in this charcoal. So get one, one ball of each of these colors plus an extra um, ball of your border color. And the total um, yardage for this project is 2,000 yards. Okay, so we are going to be using an eye-sized crochet hook. This crochet hook is from the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. I know I use this hook in a lot of my crochet tutorials because I just love it so much. It's hand-carved, handmade, ergonomic, and it's just really easy to crochet with, um, with the bigger handle. And these are, crochet hooks are fixed in the handle. You can choose whatever size you want, boy hook or Bates hook, right hand or left hand. I mean, they come in universal sizing, so it's great. Check them out. Would be fancy on Etsy. We are using an eye hook, which is five and a half millimeters for this project. You can use an H hook, which is five millimeters, and that's totally cool as well. We are going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut our yarn and sew in a lot of ends because as you can see the color changes every row and I cut my yarn and sew in the ends as I go and I highly recommend you do the same thing because you don't want to sew in all your ends at once. <laughs> it is such a headache. So that is um, all the supplies you're going to need for this project. We are using such an eclectic amount of stitches. We're using single crochet, half double crochet, um, double crochet, treble crochet, and puff stitches. And with these double crochets here, we are using the crisscross stitching, which I really love. This is an eight row repeat, and you can make this as big as, or small as you want. So my blanket here that I'm going to demonstrate is a size baby blanket. It's 45 inches wide by 50 inches long. So it's a little bit uh, bigger for a baby blanket. Usually they're 36 inches, but I wanted a little extra cuddly room for my baby blanket and you can make this as big as you want it's just um, your foundation chain has to be an even number so you can make this however big you want for the measurements and I will put a, a link um, or a the measurements for different sizes of baby blankets or different sizes of blankets in general for full size, queen size, king size, so you can make your blanket and your foundation chain as long as you need to for your measurement of what you're going to make your bl blanket for. And then the border is um, similar to a granny stitch and uh, it's just a spiky border. I didn't want it to be too feminine and because uh, I'm having a baby boy, <laughs> but I feel like it still gives a really nice edging to this blanket. So 
we are using the charcoal color for that. So that is all. Before we begin though, I have to say check out the links in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. There's a link to the crochet pattern free on my website and you can check that out. Also, there's a link to Facebook, Instagram, my Snapchat info, all the information. Even our P.O. Box address is there for fan mail. Thank you so much for everybody who's sending us stuff in the P.O. Box. It's so much fun to check the P.O. Box every week. I love Love it so thank you to everybody who is sending things there <laughs> so uh and i have to say a big thank you to red heart yarns obviously for providing this yarn today my dad is behind my shoulder this entire tutorial zooming in for you to see all the stitches so a big thank you to him for filming this editing editing it and posting it up on youtube for everybody to watch and a huge thank you to you for watching every time we post. So thank you so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already and we can get started now and make the Happy Hues Sampler baby blanket. That's why it wasn't shine. Does it look real? Is it not? <laughs> Does it look real? I can tell it's not because it's got some some color to it when you go like this and that shows it's like a that. fake one yeah. how can you tell that's fake because of their colors in there the reds and all that stuff really yeah so people are gonna be like she's wearing a fake wedding ring <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down, and then pull your long end through and pull tight, and there's your slip knot. And, oops, <laughs> we're gonna insert our hook into that loop and begin. So we're gonna start off, you want to start off by chaining, if you're gonna do the baby blanket, chain 132. If you are um, doing a different size blanket, chain any even number in the measurement that you want your blanket to be and um, just do it in any even number. So I'm gonna do 132 chains. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, three. I won't make you watch me chain 132. So just chain the amount that you need, uh, an even number, and once I have my chain, my foundation chain done, we will go on to row one. All right, once you have your chain here, we are going to go on to row one, and row one says to double crochet into the third chain and each chain across. So the loop on your hook does not count as a chain, so we're gonna count one and two and three, this third chain here. And what I personally like to do with my chain is work in the back ridge. So I turn my chain towards me. And you can see this back ridge here, that's the loop I like to work in for my foundation chain. So I'm gonna count one, two, and three right here, yarn over, go into that chain, then yarn over and pull it through. Okay, then yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. And there is your double crochet. Now that beginning chain here, this these two chains right here are not going to count as anything, okay? Just this stitch counts, okay? And you'll see that in the next row. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so there's your double crochets. So we are just doing plain double crochets for row one. Nothing too exciting, just double crochet across. Now if you wanted to, you could start this um, row with, let's see here, double crochet in the third chain and across. You could have started this row with um, skipping the, the chain method and you could have done a foundation double crochet row and that would be totally fine, um, but uh, you just want an even number of stitches, okay? So just have an even number of stitches on your row one, and I'll then meet you up when we get to the end of this row. We'll go on to row two. 
All right, just finishing my last stitch here. We just double crocheted across. So this is what your work should just look like a double crochet row. So now I am going to fasten this color off. If you do not want to fasten off, just chain up three and turn your work around. But I'm going to chain one here and I'm gonna cut this yarn. And then I'm gonna pull that through that chain one and pull tight. Okay, we'll sew in that end in a little bit. We're gonna turn our work around like this. And we are going to work now in this very first stitch right here. I'm going to insert my hook and we are going to grab white. Let me grab some white yarn. There we go. And we are just going to hook that on our hook just like that. I just folded it in half here and we're just going to pull it through. Okay, don't worry about it, it's not going to unravel. What I usually like to do is take this little strand, this short strand, and wrap it a couple of times around my working yarn before I go on then to chain up three. So we're gonna chain up three here, one, two, and three. And this does count as a stitch. This is going to count as our very first double crochet. So we do not have to work into this stitch right here okay and what we're going to do let's see here is make crisscross stitches across here so what we're going to do is skip this next stitch right here and we are going to double crochet into this next stitch so yarn over skip this stitch go into this next stitch here okay yarn over and pull it through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two Okay, now we have to double crochet into the skipped stitch, but what we're going to do is fold this forward, okay, we're going to yarn over, and we're going to work, I know it's kind of difficult to see, but we are going to work behind the double crochet we just created. So what I'm going to do is yarn over, go into the back of my work, but go through the front, so you can see like this, and go through that stitch. Okay, now usually when we do work um, crisscross stitches, you can work in the front of your work like this, but that's going to then wrap around this double crochet post. Okay, so that's not what I want to do. But if you want to do that, you can wrap around this double crochet post and make your crisscross stitches that way, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to yarn over, go behind this double crochet into that skipped stitch right there, then yarn over and pull it through, then, <clears throat> excuse me, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. And that is worked behind this double crochet, just like that, and I've made a little crisscross. Okay, so we're gonna do that all the way across. So yarn over, skip this next stitch, go into this next stitch and make your double crochet. And then yarn over, go behind your stitch, go into that skip double crochet stitch right there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And there's your next one. Okay, I'll show you again. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, then double crochet into the skipped stitch. You can see I'm like holding my loops on my hook so they don't fall off. Going into the skipped stitch there and making my double crochet. All right, so I'm gonna do that all the way across now. And once I am finishing this row, I'll show you how we finish and then we'll go on to row three. All right, so I came to the end of this row and it looks like my crisscross stitches ended. Um, so if this happens to you, um, you wanna put an extra stitch in the last stitch just for row two. You wanna have 130 stitches across. Okay, so if you end up with 129, then what you need to do is put one double crochet in the very end here. So way at the end, in this very last stitch, which is our chain up two, which I said did not count as a stitch, we're gonna work into that. And this is only if you end up with 129 stitches, make 
one double crochet in the end. So in the beginning, whoopsie, in the beginning of your work, you want to have this chain of three count as a stitch and then your next stitch is worked this way. But then in the very end, you want the same exact thing, a crisscross stitch and then end with a regular double crochet in the end, okay? So that's the only time I will probably have just adding an extra stitch in my work. Um, I'm not sure why that happened, maybe my count was off in my foundation row, but we're just adding that one extra stitch and nobody's going to even notice. So now, going on to row three, we are going to chain up one. Um, if you are not changing color, just chain up one and turn your work. I'm going to change color every row, so I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn, and then pull it through and pull tight. Okay, we're going to turn our work around just like this and we are going to work in this very first stitch right here and I'm going to grab the color called denim here again just attaching by folding it in half pulling through and then I like to twist this a few times and then chain up one and in this very first stitch for row three, we are going to single crochet into the same stitch that we uh, slip stitched or added this yarn to. So go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. Then we are going to chain two, one and two, skip two stitches, and then single crochet into the next. And that is... Our repeat so it's super simple chain two skip two single crochet into the next so we're making these little um, chain two spaces here okay for the whole row so chain two skip two stitches single crochet in the next and do that all the way across and then I'll come back we'll go on to row four next all right, if you come to the end here and you have extra stitches or one extra stitch, um, I you can see here I skipped one, two, three stitches instead and just single crochet into the very last stitch. Uh, if that happens to you, it shouldn't, <laughs> um, but I am not sure. I think my stitch count was wrong in this row, so we're just going to skip one stitch. And again, you're not going to even notice when I make the border and everything. So... Now, going on to row three, we're going to, I'm going to chain one and um, cut this off here. If you're not changing color and going on to row four, just chain up three and turn your work and go on to row four. But I'm not doing that. I'm just going to cut this, pull it through, pull tight, and then turn my work around. So now we're on this side, and what we want to do now is, oh, and you should have, for the chain two spaces, if you're making the baby blanket like me, you should have 43 of these chain two spaces across, okay? And 44 single crochets. So we're going to start into this first single crochet here, okay? And we are going to add, I'm going to use dusty gray for row four. And we're going to hook that on, pull it through, and then chain up three. One, two, and three. And that does count as a stitch. That counts as a double crochet stitch. And in each of these chain two spaces here, we are going to put three double crochets. So yarn over, go in to this chain two space here, and make three double crochets. So one, here's two, and three. Similar to the stitching we did uh, for row one, just double crochets. We're just doing double crochets in here. So hop into the next chain two space and put three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. And we're just doing that all the way across, putting three double crochets into each chain two space. Now the reason I put this beginning double crochet here is because I have 43 of these chain two spaces here 
and 43 times 3 is only 129 and so I need 130 stitches across. We want the same amount of stitches in row one as we have, or in row four that we have in row one. So this is an extra stitch for 130 stitches and my edge will still stay straight, okay? So that's why I added that stitch. Now in the end of this row, if you come up with one less or something <laughs> happens, <laughs> you don't have 130 stitches, you can do the same thing to the other end of your blanket. Just add one double crochet in the very last stitch if you need to. But I'm just going to, I just added the one here and then I'm going to put three in each of these chain two spaces and then I'll come back at the end of this row, I'll count my stitches and then we'll go on to row five. All right, so like I said, if you have one less stitch in your row here doing these, um, they, they look like granny stitches, I guess. If you have one less um, stitch, you can put one more stitch in the end to match the beginning of your row where we have this double crochet or this chain up three double crochet stitch. Essentially, that's our double crochet. It's our chain of three, though. <laughs> so, anyway, going on to uh, row five. Actually, row five is like one of my favorite rows of this whole project. So, I'm going to chain one and um, cut my yarn. But if you are going on to row five, just chain one and turn your work around. But again, I'm just going to cut this and pull that through. Pull tight. Turn the work. Okay. And we are going to start in that very first stitch here. And I am going to grab the color Country Blue. So it's like this little light, lighter blue here. Pull that through and then chain one. Let me get this wrapped around, there we go. Chain one. And then we're gonna single crochet into that same first stitch here. So let me get situated. All right, so go into that same first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook, okay? There we go, there's a single crochet. Now the next stitch is going to be a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, okay? Go into the next stitch, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, that is a treble crochet. It's kind of curved because we are going to single crochet into the next stitch. And what I'm going to do is push this away from me, kind of folding it in half. Going into the next stitch, we're just going to single crochet. And there is a little texture little bobble type texture when this gets uh, folded in half. I just love this row so much. It's so simple too. So we're gonna alternate those two stitches across. So yarn over twice, make a treble crochet into this very next stitch here. And then single crochet into the next stitch. You can see that makes that texture Love it. This is like my favorite row of the whole project. <laughs> so yarn over twice, treble crochet into the next stitch, and then single crochet into the next. Okay, just don't forget to yarn over twice for a treble crochet. Go into the next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, okay. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then push, you can kind of push this with your thumb and go into the next stitch, make your single crochet. That way it gets pushed to that side. Just like that. And I'm gonna do that all the way across this row, just alternating the treble crochet and the single crochet stitches. And once I finish row five, we'll go on to row six next. All right, when you're finishing row five, you want to end with two single crochets. So a single crochet in this stitch, and then again, this chain up three is a stitch. So we're gonna end with a single crochet in that stitch as well. 
So you start with a single crochet, you end with a single crochet, regardless if it's treble crochet, single crochet, single crochet, that's okay. So now this is what your, this is the back of your work. We're going to flip this around, turn it around. Okay. So you should have still 130 stitches across. Okay. So you can see that that made that texture and that looks really good. So I've used all five of my colors, but we still want to, um, we're just going to go back and use these colors throughout. And I will have on the blog what color sequence I use for my blanket. So if you want to use the same color sequence, you can. Uh, but going on to row six now, I'm going to change color. If you are not changing color, just chain one, turn your work so you're looking at this side, and then um, you can go on to row six. But I'm going to cut this pull it through and pull tight. And we are going to start in the very first single crochet stitch right here. And I'm going to grab the color white and hook that on. Pull that through and chain one. Oopsie. There we go. And this row is very simple. We are going to half double crochet into each stitch across. So yarn over go into this very first stitch that we just slip stitched into or went into here attached go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook okay that's a half double crochet so now we're going to just half double crochet into each of the stitches across so yarn over go into this next single crochet stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops yarn over go into this treble crochet stitch right there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that's it. That's just half double crocheting across this row. So I'll do that for row six and then I'll come back and show you how to do row seven. All right. So I'm just going to chain one at the end of this row. I just half double crocheted across. Super simple. Uh, again, you should have 130 stitches there. And we are going to cut this yarn and pull it through, pull tight, turn the work around. Okay, and going on to row seven, we are going to start in this very first um, stitch here. I'm going to use charcoal, going back to charcoal, and we are going to chain one. So let me get this situated here. Yarn over, pull through chain one there and then we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch so yarn over go into this first stitch that we just attached to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops okay next in this very next stitch right here we are going to puff stitch so it's a seven loop puff stitch okay so what i'm going to do is yarn over go into that stitch yarn over and pull it through and you can pull it up a little bit to get some looseness on your hook here so there's three loops on your hook yarn over again go back into that same stitch yarn over pull through and pull up again there's five loops on the hook now we have to do that one more time yarn over go in yarn over pull through and now there's seven loops on the hook that is a seven loop puff. We're going to yarn over and pull through all seven of those loops and then chain one to close it. And that is our puff stitch. Now we're going to skip this next stitch here and we're going to puff stitch into the next stitch. So yarn over, skip this stitch here, go into the next and make a seven loop puff stitch. So there's three, here's five, and here's seven loops yarn over pull through all seven loops and then chain one to close it okay just like that we're doing that all the way across this whole blanket here this whole row so yarn over skip the next stitch puff stitch into the next one two three there's seven loops on my hook yarn over pull through all seven loops chain one to close it Okay, so I'm going to do that all the way across and then once I have all my puff stitches, I'll meet you up at the end of this row and then we'll go on to row eight next. 
All right, when you're finishing row seven, if you, regardless if you have one stitch or two stitches left, uh, if you have two stitches, skip this stitch and then just work your last stitch in the last stitch. If you only have one stitch left, like if this one isn't there and you just have this one stitch, just half double crochet in that stitch. But since I have two stitches, I have this chain one here and I'm going to skip this stitch and then half double crochet into the very last stitch. Okay, going on to row eight, if you are not changing color, just chain up three and turn your work around and go on to row eight. But I'm going to change color here. So I'm gonna chain one, cut this, pull it through and pull tight. We're gonna turn our work around, okay. And we are going to start in this very first half double crochet stitch right here. And I'm gonna grab this country blue color. Okay, I'm kind of just going at random with my colors. Um, you can just go at random or whatever you wanna do. I'll let you know what color scheme I go with, what repeat, if I do a repeat, uh, in the blog. Okay, and also stitch counts will be in the blog too because um, there's actually only 66 of these puff stitches including the two half double crochet stitches uh, in this row seven there. Going on to row eight now, we are going to chain up three here, one, two, and three, and we're going to double crochet into the very same stitch. So yarn over, go into this very same half double crochet stitch that we attached to and make a double crochet. So yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, okay? Next, I'm gonna skip over this chain one space and work into this chain one space here. And we're gonna work in each chain one space across and we're going to put two half double, or I'm sorry, two double crochets in each chain one space, just like this, one, two. So yarn over, hop to the next chain one space. Here's double crochet and another double crochet. One, two, okay? And we want to make sure that we have 130 of these or the same number as row one. So whatever number you have for your stitch count on row one is where you should be at row eight, okay? So this is just a plain, double crochet row, just putting two double crochets in each chain one space, just like that. So I'll do that all the way across for row eight and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. All right, finishing row eight, we want to put two double crochets in the very last stitch. So you can see here's our puff stitch and there's no chain one here. So we want to work right into our, so here's a chain one. There's our puff stitch and there's my half double crochet. So I'm gonna work into my half double crochet stitch and I'm gonna put two double crochets in there to finish row eight. Now, this is our repeat basically. So we're gonna chain one and cut our yarn and pull this through, pull tight. And then for the rest of this pattern, now we're gonna turn our work after this. For the rest of this pattern, you have to repeat rows two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then go back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And repeat again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two through eight, just keep repeating that whole sequence all the way for however long you want to make your blanket. Um, I'm gonna make mine 40 inches long before the border. You can make yours however long you want. Just make sure you end on a repeat of row eight here. Also, when you're doing a repeat of row five, make sure you are looking at the back of your work. The, these little um, bobbly type of uh, treble stitches look best on the, their back side. So basically when you're working on this side of the work, on the back side of your blanket, make sure to do row five. On, um, if you're doing a repeat of row four and you're turning your work and seeing that you can see these stitches, just don't turn your work. Just slide it all the way down to the other side of your blanket and start working on that first stitch. 
okay i hope that makes sense you just want to make sure you're always working row five looking at the back side of your work okay so that may be a little different because I, re I remember when i did row 12 when i got up to row 12 I had to not turn my work after my repeat of row four there and going on to row five. I didn't end up turning my work and I was able to have this uh, texture show up best. So just make sure you do that. So just repeat rows two through eight, however long you want to make this. I'll do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. All right, welcome back. I just finished um, my blanket. I ended on row 78, and that is a repeat of row 8 for uh, the project. So you want to end on a repeat of row 8, uh, but this is how it looks. I love how it looks. It's so beautiful, and the texture is just so lovely. I loved the repeat of row 5. That was awesome and also um this just turned out really fabulous so we are ready for the border so i want to show you how to do that so like i said though you can make your blanket as long as you want um you can make it a uh, size for a full size bed or king <laughs> up to a king size bed however big you want your blanket to be um so you can just make it the measurements and I will put the measurements in the uh, notes section of the blog where you can get the free crochet pattern for this project so let's just get right into it let's make the border so I'm going to be using charcoal for my border and we are going to start anywhere really start anywhere you want I'm going to start before a corner so I can show you how to turn the corner and go around so I'm going to start just next to a corner on this side and then we'll go across the top so when you're working on this side along the side you can see that it is very um, rigid it's not um, completely straight but this border will straighten everything out I'm just gonna attach this wherever I'm just gonna insert it wherever it fits and then hook on my yarn and pull that through okay now the first round of our border is so simple it is just a single crochet so we're just going to chain one from the start and then we're just going to go in where we attach or where we yeah attach this yarn and just single crochet in there and basically along this side and the opposite side where we were working on the edge of our blanket um, just wherever your hook fits is where you should single crochet okay so there's no really like specific spot for you to put your hook or anything just where it fits just put a single crochet just like that and once you get to the corners we're going to put three single crochets in each corner okay so i'll show you how to do that here coming up to this corner i'm just going to single crochet into this chain Okay. and then into this end stitch on the corners let me get into the corner stitch here sorry it's a little tricky this one's being tricky let's skip that one <laughs> go into this stitch right here this corner stitch we are going to put three single crochets just like that and now I'm going to work along this top and uh, obviously the bottom it will be the same like the top just work in each stitch across but then when you come to the other side going down we're just going to be doing like this single crocheting along this edge so just single crochet around this whole piece for round one of the border and once you uh, or once I come back to the beginning here I'll come back on screen and we'll go on to round two right away all right I just single crocheted around this whole blanket here putting three single crochets into each corner so now we're going to slip stitch to this first single crochet right here go in yarn over pull through and through and now for round two, we are going to chain up three. So one, 
two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet. And in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into the same stitch, make your two double crochets. So it actually looks like there's three double crochets in that same stitch. Now we're going to skip two stitches and put three double crochets into the next. So skip this stitch, skip this stitch, and then put two, or I'm sorry, three double crochets into this next stitch right here. One, two, and three. Then skip two stitches and put three double crochets into the next. And we're just gonna do that all the way around, except in the corners, we're gonna do something different. So once you get to the corners, skip these two stitches and go into this middle uh, single crochet of the three single crochet grouping. Here's one, two, three. This middle one here, we are going to put our corner stitches. So in the corner, middle single crochets, put three double crochets, one, two, and three, then chain two, one and two, and then put three more double crochets in that same stitch. It might get a little tight, but you can stretch it out a little bit and fit all these stitches in that one stitch, just like that. It's kind of like um, the granny stitch if you see that granny style. So now on this edge here, until we get to the next corner, we're just gonna skip two stitches and then put three double crochets in the next stitch. Then skip two more stitches and then put three double crochets into the next stitch. And just repeat that until the next corner. In the middle single crochet of the corner, we're putting three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets in every corner, okay? So do that all the way around. It's just a simple granny stitch design. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the very last round. All right, so I just came all the way around here and now we are going to attach. So skip these last two stitches. Now, if you if it doesn't work out for you, if you have three stitches, um, just skip the last three stitches. Or if you only have one stitch, just skip it. And slip stitch to this first chain up three stitch here. Um, now, if you have extra stitches or two less stitches, it doesn't matter because nobody's gonna even notice. So that's cool. <laughs> I love that crochet is so forgiving. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is slip stitch into these next two stitches and into this gap here. We're gonna work in the gaps between the groupings. So I'm gonna go into this next stitch right here, slip stitch, you don't have to slip stitch too tight. So pull through and through, whoops, just like that. And then go into the next stitch here, pull through and through. And now we are going to slip stitch into this gap. Slip stitch like that. And then we're gonna chain one, okay? In that same gap, we are going to single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now in this gap here, we are going to make our repeat here. We're going to put three double crochets. So one, two, and three, then we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna put three more double crochets in there. So basically, our corner <laughs> on the side, just like that. Okay, so that creates a point. And then as you can see, we're coming down to this gap right here, we are going to single crochet into there. Single crochet. Okay, and now we're in the corner here. In the corners, we are going to put our corner stitches, which is exactly what we did for the last round. So three double crochets, one, two, and three, then chain two, and then three more double crochets. One, two, and three, and that's for every corner, okay? Now we're going to single crochet into this next hole, this next gap right here in between the groupings, single crochet in there. So we have that corner there, lovely. So we're just going to be doing this then all the way around. So let me move my work here. So I'm working on this side now. 
So in this gap here, we're going to put three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. So one, two, three, chain two, go back in for three more double crochets there. One, two, and three. And then in the next gap, we are just going to single crochet. Okay, so we are making this fancy kind of spiky border. Very cool. So just do that all the way around and when I come back, we'll be able to fasten off. All right, I just came all the way around and we are going to slip stitch to this first single crochet stitch right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through and we can fasten off. So let's chain one and cut this yarn, pull it all the way through and pull it tight. And then just right away, let's grab our yarn needle and sew in this end. And we wanna make sure that we sew in all of our ends as we go, <laughs> because there's a lot of um, cutting our yarn in this project. And I'm just sewing it underneath these stitches and then I'll go back and forth here to make sure it's completely hidden. Cut any extra. And oh, I have this end as well, so I'm just going to sew that in too. But there you have it. The Happy Hues Sampler Baby Blanket is complete. Now, like I said earlier, you can make this in any size that you wish. Um, but I just made it the baby blanket size. Mine's about 45 inches wide by 50 inches long. And that will fit for the baby. So there it is, how lovely. It is so gorgeous. I had so much fun making it. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this with me. Make sure if you do make this, please hashtag Yarn Utopia if you're gonna post it on Instagram and share it on the Facebook page. I wanna see your work, it is so beautiful. I'm so glad I made this and I can't wait to have it in the nursery. Check out the photos and uh, make sure before you go, hit the subscribe button. All right, until next time, happy hooking!